Alright, so today I'm going to be reviewing the new Hey Arnold movie, um, Hey Arnold the Jungle movie. Um, but before I begin, um, I just got back uh, from Thanksgiving break. I had a great time. Um, I ate way too much food. In fact, to kind of end the break, um, my family brought me back up. Usually my mom just brings me, but my aunt and uncle um, had to do some Christmas shopping, so we spent the day, uh, the day together. And uh, if you live over in the Mesa area or um, feel inclined to drive over there, there's a great Chinese restaurant called Golden Valley. Um, we call it Tom Tom's because the guy's name's Tom that owns the place, but uh, it's super good. Like, you get a big heaping plate full of food for super cheap, and it's really good quality Chinese food, so... If you live in the Mesa area or want to drive over there, uh, just Google Golden Valley and check it out. Um, I think it's off of Dobson. I'm not sure. I'm still trying to... I know that part of um, Phoenix and like the area down here a lot better than Scottsdale and the area around here, so yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I'll uh, jump into the review now. Um, so, pretty much just the basis, just the plot of this movie is, it takes place where the show left off because if you remember that far back, the show freaking ended with Arnold. I don't remember how he got the journal or like if his grandpa gave it to him. I don't remember like that much detail. But pretty much he finds a journal about like what happened to his parents pretty much and like their adventures. Kind of like Indiana Jones style stuff. But uh, pretty much the show never said if they died or if they were alive. And so it was like a huge cliffhanger. Pretty much Arnold was just pretty much bummed that he's like he never really got to see his parents again like the entirety of the show. So I was pretty stoked for this when I saw the trailer that he's going on an adventure to find them and find out what happened because like at the end of the show I was like really that's it it's like we don't get to know what happened and he's just kind of bummed about it for like the rest of his life but the whole basis of this TV movie special pretty much is him um, thanks to Helga and pretty much all the people he's helped throughout like the entirety of the show and the series. Um, pretty much he wins a humanitarian award or something and they get to go on a trip to the jungle it just so happens to be the region and area where his parents vanished. So that's uh, the basis and premise of this movie, is him finding his parents. I'm not going to talk about any spoilers. I just wanted to say that I really liked this. I felt like it um, tied a lot of loose ends together from the show, the original show. Um, I honestly think I liked this better than the actual movie that they came out with in like 2005. I just thought it was better. Um, let me think. The storyline was good. Um, I really liked that. I thought, it, like I said, it tied everything good, um, up good, and did a lot of justice for the show. Um, the only thing I didn't really like is I'm pretty sure that they didn't use um, every single original voice actor from the original series. That kind of bugged me a little bit at times because I could kind of be like, like listening. It's like, oh, that's not the original whatever character, whatever you want to, whichever character you want to insert in there. So that kind of bugged me a little bit. But other than that, I really liked this movie. Um, it really kind of had an Indiana Jones-ish feel to it. There was like river pirates and adventure and like just crazy stuff. But it was like a watered down kids cartoon version of it, like a Nick one. So that was cool. Um, let's see. Um, other than that, I really don't know what to say about the movie. Like, I just felt like it was kind of a kid's version of Indiana Jones, even though there was a couple dark parts and just some dark elements to the movie, which I was kind of surprised by, but little kids aren't going to catch it. And, you know, with the new generation of kids now, they're not going to remember, like, the old show or, like, who, who Harold really is. They're just going to, like, watch this movie and be like, oh, that was cool. They're just going to kind of think it was a TV special. Kind of like with Teen Titans Go, my cousin was watching it once when he was hanging out at my house, and he's like, He's 12 now, but this was a couple years ago, and he, like, was all excited about it. And I was like, have you seen the original? And, like, he had no idea what I was talking about. I was just like, mm, you're, you need to be educated. Because, like, they're just rebooting all these shows now. But, like, the good thing about this is it, like, stuck true, uh, stuck true to the storyline. Um, and stuck true to everything from the original show. And literally picked up right where the show left off. With a, uh, yeah, left off, which I thought was super awesome. Um, there's a lot of cameos. There's like all the original characters from the show are in it. We got Stoop Kid. Um, I don't know what his official name is, but it's like the pigeon guy that he that Arnold helped out like in one of the episodes. Like it really shows like kind of um, I want to say the effect, like the positive effect that Arnold had on like the town and the community as a whole, um, by him being a genuinely good person, which I thought was cool. 
Um, and obviously that's how he wins that award, the humanitarian thing or whatever. But uh, um, I don't remember the guy's name, I think it's Jim Lang, but the guy that did the music for the TV show, he brought back, he was brought back for this project as well. I really liked that. It just really felt like the old school Arnold TV show, but in movie form. Um, a lot of people got all salty and upset about the animation style. It's like, if you're going to get upset about that, it's like, look at the progress um, and change in animation of the Spongebob show. It's like, it looks way different now than it did in the 90s. So it's like, if you're going to make that big of a deal about this one movie, this one time TV event, it's like, why don't you go rant about that or something else? I mean, it honestly doesn't bother me. Like, I don't pay that much little detail and attention to things. Like, I could tell it was different, but it didn't, like, bug me the whole movie and was just gnawing at my brain. But hey, everyone has their opinions, so... Whatever. But overall, I honestly thought this movie was really good. Um, if you didn't have a chance to check it out, I'm not sure where you'd be able to view it at. But I would definitely recommend it. Um, especially if you're an old fan of the show. Um, I felt, like I said, it really stuck to the roots and really built on the basis of the show and where it left off. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to talk about. Talk about about it. Um, can't really think of anything. I think I covered everything that I wanted to go over. Um, but yeah. So anyway, feel free to check out Harold the Jungle Movie. It was super good. Um, I think I read somewhere that excuse me, Nick is planning on doing a. I think it's a Danny Phantom. Maybe TV special and a another Fairly Odd Parents one because it's been a while for that. But there was another show. Can't remember which one it was, but I might look more into that. I mean, if you have the information or you know something, you can let me know too in the comments. But I oh, it's Invader Zim. I think they're doing an Invader Zim TV special too. Not 100% sure, but I'll we'll all stay tuned and I'll update each other. But yeah, um, if you know anything, feel free to comment and let me know or email me or whatever. I have all my contact information in my information box on my page. But yeah, seriously, go check out this movie. Um, it was super good for how long we had to freaking wait to find out what happened to his parents. And I was honestly super pleased and surprised by it. Um, feel free to let me know what you thought of the movie. Um, pros, cons, all that fun stuff. Um, feel free to like this video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And make sure to check out Hey Arnold the Jungle Movie. Thanks for watching.